He's only Australia's one-man boy band, Will Anderson. Howdy, I, I, I love this country. I think we are the most laid-back nation on earth. What other country needed an ad that went like this? What sort of country would forget the name of its first Prime Minister? And we all just went, oh shit, probably us, I'm guessing. <laughs> didn't we? Because we just went, oh, hang on, that guy knows stuff. Because it was because of his voice. We knew he was the same guy who does those, have you ever bought or rented a video that wasn't quite right? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. Reckless Kelly. But... <laughs> I didn't know we had this reputation overseas until I went to the Edinburgh Comedy Festival and a Scottish guy heckled me and this is what he said. He said, mate, Australians are so lazy, they wouldn't pull a greasy stick out of a dog's ass. <laughs> is that a common expression? I'd never heard that before. I'd never seen that on Burjo's catchphrase. <laughs> I realised he wasn't even heckling me. He was heckling our entire country. And I thought I had to respond on behalf of Oz. I said, mate, as an Australian, I don't reckon we give a shit. <laughs> what Scottish people are doing, sticking it up there in the first place. <laughs> How bad are you at playing fetch? <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen if we pull it out? <sighs> oh, I'm king of all England. <laughs> I think our relaxed attitude comes from the discovery of the country. I mean, we, well, it's pretty, like, we told the Captain Cook discovered Australia, let's face it, pretty hard to discover a place that has been owned for 40 to 120,000 years. Somebody would call that discovery, others would call that mm, stealing. And <laughs> I know it's a fine line, but I'd love to see it defended in a modern day court of, say, Judge Judy. <laughs> no, seriously, Judge Judy, I didn't steal this VCR, I discovered it. <laughs> I'm an explorer. <laughs> but the thing that pisses me off the most is the Dutch. The Dutch, like Dirk Hartog, the Dutch explorer, discovered Australia, named it Endraxtland after his boat, the Endraxt. Could have been worse. Could have called us Fair Star, the fun country. <laughs> <laughs> but what I love is the Dutch rejected us as a nation. Who was at that meeting? So, Endraxtland, want to keep it? Nah, bugger it. <laughs> it's all sand, but can't wear clogs on sand. Let's go home and eat chocolate and make porn. <laughs> I think the most laid back people of all are the Australian's customs agents though, aren't they? You go to England and they're just so like tense. You go to England and the customs agents just go, have you got any bombs in your bag? <laughs> I was like, what sort of dumbass terrorists are you trying to catch? <laughs> Yes, no, she, ah! Oh! <laughs> if you come back to Australia, there's one guy who doesn't ask you about bombs or guns, does he? No, just one guy standing there, not even behind his desk, just leaning on his desk. Ass crack hanging about 10 centimetres out of his desk. He looks in the eye and you're thinking, oh, bombs, guns, that's what he said. Eh, hey, g'day, mate. You haven't got any fruit in your bag. <laughs> There he goes, Will Anderson.